Today we're here to talk about the DCM Pro floor heating product. It all starts with the wire. Wire is made by Warm Up, and it started with the idea of making a wire that is strong enough and gives you enough wattage per square feet in order to be a primary heating source. We also have two different kinds of membranes, and we're the only company out there that actually has two different kinds of membranes. The first style of membrane that we have is considered called a, a fleece back, which has the white fleece underneath. And the way this is installed is that you're gonna thin set the, the subfloor first, then next you're gonna be laying down the membrane on top. From there, this is where you, you go in over with the wire, click in the wires inside the, inside the membrane, and finally do another layer of thin set or mortar, and then tile over it. If you look closely, the castellations that we have in the membrane allows us to have a more thin set to wire contact. That is very important. The reason why is because it gives you the ability to have consistent heating throughout the wire and the thin set. So you don't have any cold spots. Because you're using more thin set, it's one continuous thin set uh, layer on it. That allows for better contact to the tile, therefore not letting any tiles loosen up over time. It's also an anti-fracture membrane and it has passed all the tests, the TCNA, Robinson tests, and it's, like, it's also rated for extra heavy commercial use. Warm Up is also carries the only UL rated membrane out there. The other style of membrane that I have, and this is the one that nobody else has in the market, is a peel and stick. So instead of having to thin set that down first on the subfloor and then adhering the, the membrane, there's actually, it's a goop peel and stick which allows you to take off the plastic making sure that the subfloor is nice and, and clean by either doing a shot vac or a wet mop. And once you do that, you adhere this to the subfloor. After putting pressure down on it, it is hard to, to actually take off the subfloor. Once both of these are laid out, depending on the situation, and again, showing you this, this is the peel and stick version, subfloor or insulation board that we have here. We will peel and stick it down to the subfloor. Then you run your thin set over the, or after clipping the wires in, put the thin set over the wire. Everything remains the same. Put the tile over that. Once the fleece back or the peel and stick membrane is, is, is down on the subfloor, the next step is actually bringing the wire. Normally the wire will come in a spool. It comes in different sizes, depending obviously of, of your floor plan and which warm up will, will give you a, a suggested layout for that. But once you have the spool and you take it out of the box, the first thing you'll notice is what we call the cold tail. This cold tail will be running up the wall. This is what will connect to the back of the thermostat. As you roll down the cold tail, you'll see that there you have one area here called the factory joint. The factory joint is what splices the cold tail, the non-heated wire, to the heated wire. This is important when installing this. It has to be installed into the subfloor. It has to also be encapsulated with inset. And the reason why it has to, because it also still heats up. And if it doesn't have anywhere to, 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 tra uh, to transfer the heat through, it will actually eat away at its own jacket and loosen up the connection. Very, very important. Once you have installed this on the subfloor, now you can lay out the wire. And the wire, as you see, is very simple to install. Well, you come in and you'll go as the layout shows you. The closer the spacing is, the more wattage per square feet you're going to have. Therefore, you'll have more heat, faster ramp up time, and maybe a little bit more efficient in, in the sense of primary heating. As you go to three peg spacing, it creates a little bit less heat, about 14 watts per square feet, two peg spacing about 20 watts per square feet. And lastly, if you go to four peg spacing, it creates the least amount of heat, which is about 12 watts per square feet. Once the wire is completely laid out, and you like your configuration, and you have put it into the, the area that you want it for, the, for the, your heated floor plan, this is where your tile guy would come in and put mortar all throughout uh, the membrane, making sure that you're completely filling all the different castellations, okay? Filling everything in. The benefit, again, is that as you're coming in here with the trowel, you're never touching that, that wire, never having the possibility of damaging the wire and also making the job much faster on the install instead of normally 
what a lot of towel guys would do with other products would walk away because they have to pour either a leveler uh, or do a skim coat of mortar before and then let that cure and dry overnight. From here, you'll hook up the wire to our proprietary thermostat, the 4IE. The 4IE comes in either Wi-Fi or non-Wi-Fi. All thermostats are energy efficient, which will let you know exactly how much you're spending on your consumption, depending on how you have it programmed. The Wi-Fi thermostat, you have a free app, and you can download that app, and from there you can actually control the settings on it. Um, it also has Smart Geo, which basically, if you don't want to program the thermostat, because it is, a, it is a programmable thermostat, but if you don't want to program the thermostat, it actually allows you to actually know when you're leaving the house and when you're, you're getting close to the house. Uh, therefore, turning on the system when you are going to be there to actually utilize the floor heating system. 